Solar panels may seem like a bit of an odd thing to slap on your roof here in Blighty. Well, if you had to sum this place up in a single word, it would probably be gloom. All right, what's the point? You might as well just slap a pair of bollocks on a fridge for all the good it's going to do. Well, yeah, I've gone and done it. I've had solar panels installed here at Techspert Towers and in bloody winter, no less, to see if they really are worth it. So my plan is to share the entire experience from start to finish, beginning in this video right now with the planning and installation phase and following over the coming months with hopefully happy tales about how much I'm absolutely not paying to keep all this shiny tech running. So let's crack on and for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Part one, egg on your roof. So the company that's installed my solar panels is called Egg. It's a renewable energy brand which launched originally as Phoenix Works over a decade ago and then rebranded as Egg three years ago when it became part of Liberty Global, the major stakeholder in O2 and Virgin Media here in the UK. Now Egg's solar panel offering allows you to spread the cost of the setup, the installation and all of the tech involved over a course of 5, 10 or 15 years at 10.9% APR and bugger all deposit required as well so you don't need to scrape together thousands of pounds before you can get these things hoid on your roof and actually start saving money. So the idea is that you offset the monthly payments for your solar tech with the money that you're no longer thrown at your lovely local utility company. Now Egg offers two options for your solar shenanigans. You can just grab the panels by themselves or panels along with storage in the form of a big old battery like this bugger here. And you've also got the option of adding an EV charger if you want an electric car. If you want the convenience of powering it up when it's just sat there on your driveway so you don't have to sod off to your local Lidl and sit in their car park for two hours. You can get a personalised quote from Egg in just a couple of minutes by following the link in the video description and their website also has a big old wonderful fact section if there's anything else you'd like to know. Part 2. Planning Now say that you accept this quote, you're then shifted onto the planning stage and for me this kicked off on November the 18th last year. First up you'll need to give Egg a bit more information about your home setup but precisely what you need to provide is all clearly explained on Egg's website and mostly just involves snapping some highly exciting photos of the front and back end of your property, your electricity meter, fuse box, etc. They've even provided example photos, both good and cack, so you know precisely what needs snapping. And once you've bunged all of this stuff over to them, one of Egg's project coordinators will then be in touch. For me, this was less than 24 hours later. And she thankfully handled all of the boring admin bollocks, such as getting in touch with Egg's trusted partners to actually handle the installation side of things, as well as submitting your G99 with your local DNO. And no, I've got no idea what any of those words I just said mean. It's a bunch of Harry Potter speak as far as I'm concerned. But if you actually care, there is a handy jargon buster over on Egg's website you can have a crack at. Part 3. Installation So the first step in the installation process, at least for us, was to have an isolator switch slapped onto our electricity meter so basically the people installing the solar panels wouldn't be char-grilled. It's quite important, that step. And that happened on December the 3rd, it was all handled by Egg and it took roughly an hour in total. You just have to make sure that somebody's around to give the person who turns up access to the meter basically. Once that crucial bit of work was complete, the actual installation of the solar panels, battery etc was scheduled for December the 16th and 17th. Egg once again organised all of that with their partners as well as the erection of the scaffolding which happened a couple of days before the installation. Thankfully, hoying up the scaffolding took them less than a day while actually installing the panels as well as that ruddy enormous Tesla Powerwall battery and an EV charger took just a day and a half overall. So in pretty much bang on a month, we've gone all the way from the start of the planning stage all the way through to completion for the installation. And for a few days, Egg remotely monitored our setup just to make sure everything was working as planned. And then they sent over all of our documents, including MCS certificates and EICs. Again, refer to the jargon buster. And then they organised the dismantling of the scaffolding. Unfortunately, because I organised for the panels to go up just before Christmas time, I then had to wait a few weeks for the actual scaffolding to finally come down. So just a heads up, if that's the kind of thing that would annoy the tits off you, maybe don't get your solar panels installed around Jesus' birthday. Part 4. 
and off we go. Now those panels have had an immediate impact. The difference has been quite obvious. Even in January, officially one of the most miserable piece of sh months ever known to man, frankly gets straight in the bin. Solar has already been providing a surprising amount of our daily power, especially when those clouds parted and we actually had more than about eight minutes of sunshine a day. Yeah, this is actually a real life scene here. That blue sky isn't some mythical AI generated landscape. But even on those god awful days where the sun maybe peeks out for a few minutes before deciding, nah, it really can't be bothered and buggering off again for about 23 hours, those panels still get to work. But anyway, no spoilers, I'll be going over the first couple of months living with solar panels in my very next video and the big impact they've had already. Hopefully at least this first part has given you an idea of what to expect from the whole planning and installation stage, how quick it actually surprisingly is, and also how hands-off and stress-free it's been, certainly in my experience anyway, hopefully you'd have a very similar experience too. So stay tuned for part two of my solar journey. God, that sounds really wanky, I'll edit that out. In the meantime, if you've got your own solar setup at home, definitely be great to hear your own personal stories down below. Please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech, and have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you.